blowing up like an inner tube. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Oh, yeah, we gonna talk, we gonna have fun. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of my dad. Man, another day. Another way, man. We blessed, man. We here, man. We in the building, man. It's going down. I got one of my favorite, favorite people here today, y'all, man. Hey, man, here, repeat. You know, we don't have many repeats because we only been doing this a little over a year or so, but this is a repeat, man. My boy DJ Chose is in the I'm house. Here, man. Ain't that DJ Chose over there? Man, <laughs> look, look like, like DJ, DJ Chose. Hey, I'm just over here uh, trying to see. I'm, I'm on Instagram trying to find XO Music, man. <laughs> That's what I was saying. That intro hard. Everybody say that, oh, man. man that say hard. That, hey, man. She, man. When I got it, I knew I was like, man, this. Is I wouldn't even call her back. Yeah. I was so excited about it. Yeah, I said, I man, this is it. When you know something's yeah. that, I'm like, that's the intro right there. He called there. all of his brothers. Called I ain't tell her though. To everybody, <laughs> wow. we like, man, listen to this. I ain't even let her hear. She thought I didn't like it or something. Oh, man. I was like, I have just too nervous to call like you back. She's this talented. She's really very talented, talented man. Yeah. And then, and then underrated. Just she's so dope because it's been some things said like the big. And I'm just giving her, her roses because mm -hmm. the big big Sean record, uh, B I G. She had a record that was very similar to that when mm -hmm. she first came out and. And he ended up doing that song, and it really it, it was like, damn. Did man. the video the it's same place? Crazy, she same did the video. video. Same, it was, wow. uh, yeah. This is yeah. Uh, you like. I, this is what I seen this happen with my own eyes from her perspective. It was like, damn, that's yeah. crazy. But she's been in the business a while. It's been a long time. For sure. But at the end of the day, man, it's a whole lot of people, a lot of talent out there, man. Just you know, it's some people out there probably better than Michael and LeBron that just never went to the NBA. Well, see, my thing is, I got done like that a lot. Um, yeah. The thing is, now you got to get in front of it. You got to get in front of you it. You get in front of it. When you're talented, you make enough for everybody. You know, you make a lot. Like, I don't just make music no more for me. I don't need 12 songs a year. Fuck that. I'm trying to, I'm going to do 100, 200 you songs. Got the, you got the right idea, yeah. bro. That is exactly right. Ain't that what I be saying? Mm -hmm. You give them away. You That's give them the away. truth, And when bro. you give it away, um, you back door. And you market the shit out of your shit. So you, like, I think what most musicians missing in 2022, when they drop a record, they don't push it with, like, they heart and soul. Like, when I look at Boss Talk, y'all pushing this, like, you know what? If another podcast come out with Boss Talk, we gonna be able to stand on it and say, Bro, you, exactly. that's me. Y'all stealing. <laughs> exactly. Is that the way we do exactly. it? Exactly. But if you don't give it your all, if somebody come and give it they all, and they give it they all better than you, you got to sit back and watch them exactly. flourish. I remember it was somebody named DJ Chose. Um, his, he was from, I think he was from Florida. Yeah. He spelled his name a little different. And when I got my first record, this is like air where I go and rep my shit, which is a, 2015. He started getting tweets like they was tweeting me, you know, but tweeting him because they were thinking he was me. And... I remember at one point, everybody, I guess some of his people was like, ah, oh, you stealing, you stealing in my mind. I'm like, but well, my name been chose since 09, but if you DJ chose, do it better than me. Right. Other than that, you know, we're going to have to figure it out. And, and I ain't got no problem with him because we end up tweeting and realizing like, hey, we good, you know, fuck what they talking about. But this game is about who going to do it better. And I, I hate thieves too, you feel me? But my way to handle a thief it's going all out of everything I do. Wow. I love the fact that you said that because when we got into business, you know, we were boss talk one on one. But there's some other podcasts and some other bloggers out there that are boss talk. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got hit up like, man, you know, your people hitting us up, this, 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 this. So it's the same thing. And we we're like, well, we we're boss talk one on one. You know, right. you do your thing, we do our thing. And just who do it better, just exactly the same way, so we can relate totally to what you're saying. Exactly, yeah, we've heard those calls, and a lot of it you weren't even interested in your brand like that until you seen how we were pushing that thing. We made a nigga want to be a part of the movement. That's how hard we have to exactly. go. Exactly, you up. know what I'm saying? Like and you want to be a part of this, man. That's how hard everybody doing boss business got to go. Exactly, straight up. Exactly, and I, I just like the fact of how you know you just don't get tired, man. You one of them ones, man. Every time I look up, it's like. Like, dang, you give me energy. 
when mm-hmm. I see you know how you go hard, man. I appreciate and that. I, I just want to go back, like, and I know we talked a little bit about it before. That's, I, I was just yeah, about man. to say. I was just about to say because I know you were we here had the two last people time. Here. Got two people, so it's hard to you know maneuver. Right. But I like to go back into history a lot. I know you talked about your mom a little bit and so forth, but I want to know how you were raised. You know where you were, right. gr- where you grew up, siblings, all of that detail because we didn't okay. get to go into it as much last time. I grew up in a small town called Brookshire, Texas. Um, okay. Population used to be like two thousand. Now it's like five thousand. Uh, you know, we kind of expanded now. But um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, I'm a little country boy. You feel me? But my country got a hood. Like, if you go to Texas or like Louisiana, you'll notice like every small town pretty much mm-hmm. got a hole in the walls. It got street niggas. It got a bad side of the tracks, and it got a like not so good, but it ain't rich. Like nothing rich, damn near, until you get to where I stay now type shit. Mm-hmm. But um. Man, that's why I was raised. I was raised in the trailer house. I used to sleep on the air mattress, all kind of weird shit. But that's what made me. Sometimes I post them pictures, and it'll be the pictures that go viral. But wow. I post the real. But that's appreciative. A lot of people like to see where you come from and right. know that, you know, it's possible to come from. Because people are there right now. For sure. You know what I mean? You know, it's possible to escape where they are to be a better person. Most definitely. Um, For me, it's. When I think about. I was just talking to somebody, and we was talking about. I was telling them how I'm opening for uh, Kevin Gates on right. tour. And I was like, man, I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of scared. And they was like, man, I know what you're talking about. He he, a big designer. He uh, designed clothes. <laughs> and he was like, I know what you're talking about, bro. Like, I get like that sometimes. Wow. He was like, but you always got to tap into where you was that made you exactly. get this far. And he was like, I don't know what it is. Think about it right now. And I thought about it. And the, the day I produced time for that for Kevin Gates I was in the studio and it was my first time at Atlantic Records and I was scared I'm just like I got this I got these these white people standing over me like can you make a hit or not mm-hmm. and I'm just sitting there and I'm like the Pressure. only thing that got me where I needed to go was I thought about my air mattress I thought about how small that room was how my air mattress was from wild wild nigga you couldn't walk in that bitch Been there. and I knew if I don't make a hit today then I'm going to be right, right back, back in that bitch, right? So I did three, four songs that same day. All of them songs went gold or platinum. Wow, time mm. for that was one. Man, it was one of them one. Yeah. Do you remember? What was the other three? Uh, Ain't Too Hard. Okay. And Thought I Was a Breadwinner. Damn. Oh. Yeah. And it just came to you. Um, Are you talking about as far as the, the, no, the production? Yeah. yeah it it just, just comes to you. It's like, so the way... I see it as it's like a um it's like a chemical that go off when you know I, you you know you I was in the nicest studio in LA. So it it didn't work the same. I'm in that bitch and I'm like, man, I'm making records, but I'm like, man, these these records good. Mm-hmm. And then it hit me like these records ain't gonna sound the same unless you get back to who you is. Exactly. So I had to visualize myself being in them four walls mm-hmm. right here. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm in my mm-hmm. trailer right now. And that's how it happened. Wall to wall air mattress. Was it just you or you had siblings? I had a brother. Uh, okay. Well, I got a brother. Okay. So my brother, if you listen to my music, um, my brother is the street nigga that I always channel. My okay. brother, a real mm. street nigga, he got shot. Four times. Uh, He's older or younger? He older. Okay. So he older than me by like three years. Okay. And everything, like I was the little brother that my mama wouldn't let him go out unless he tagged, like I had to go with him, right? Mm-hmm. So all my life, all of the hood shit I done seen was firsthand. The first time I ever got shot at, I'm in the middle riding bitch in the backseat of uh, Mr. B.C., whatever, Gallant, whatever the fuck them was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was, we in the mall parking lot, they holding their flags out, they was Crips. And the whole car got sprayed. I'm in the middle, scared for my life. How old? I'm probably like 14 at this time. Okay. So this is like when gang banging was real. Yeah, when it was right. real. So these little, I, I seen some shit that I really can't even talk about on this podcast mm-hmm. as, a, as a child. But I ain't gonna say a child, I'm like a teenager, teenager. but. You know what I'm saying? Just on on trying to hang 3 a.m. in the morning and you wake up and, and, and a nigga standing over a nigga some shit. you <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm Did that so, make you not following his footsteps? Yeah, I always tell my brother, like, he a blessing. Like, he like a, 
to him, he think he not a blessing. You know, he he really deal with depression a lot. Of course. But he really, he really probably saved me. Cause yeah. if it wasn't for my brother, it's a lot of shit I would have did just mm -hmm. cause, trying things out. Yeah, like when I seen him get wronged by niggas he was loyal for, it made me understand like that made the kind of niggas I want to fuck with anyway. So. That's yeah. good. And where yeah. was your daddy during all this time? Uh. See, my daddy was like a plug that ended up turning into, he starts, you know, he starts smoking. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, to this day, he'll tell me he didn't. But, I mean, I'm just, I love that nigga. This from what you remember. This is what I know. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I didn't, Christmas, Christmas, I know when my bike gone. You know what I'm saying? That bitch been sitting under the tree all goddamn uh December mm. and Christmas Day, you get home. Um, it's gone from Christmas dinner at your granny house. <laughs> ain't no bike, <laughs> ain't no PlayStation, and my mama crying like, "What the fuck?" Wow. You know what I'm saying? So you know the car gone. That's so like I didn't seen all that shit. Yeah. And Nick can't tell me that's because a pack went missing. Nah, that's because. Uh, How did know. that affect you as a child growing up, though? Like Man. looking towards your dad, because your dad's supposed to be like the head of the household, the leader, you know, the, the man you're supposed to look up to as a kid. Right. Um, Man, I see, it's crazy. I saw all of the good in my daddy. Mm -hmm. Like, my brother saw all of the bad. I saw all of the good. So, mm -hmm. my daddy was the kind of nigga to be like, don't put your hands on a woman, but she get out of line, choke that bitch. And I was like, damn, pops. <laughs> but, <laughs> when my mama got out of line, he would just cho choke and shake her, and she'd be scared, but I ain't never seen my daddy like standing over my mama just, so to me, that was respect. I'm like, damn, my mama just put hands on you and all you gonna do is shake her. Like, but that's respectful to me and it made me understand, like, don't put your hands on a woman. Um, you know, regardless of who he was, every night, every day we got out of school and he was there, you know, he, he went to jail. He was doing three years every, every other three years, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when, when he was at home, he was cooking, you know what I'm saying? He was cleaning. My mama loved him. He he was more like a nigga who he would have a job when he could. He wouldn't have a job. He was a felon. He was a real street nigga. But you're the type of person that see the good in people. I do, but my daddy taught me how to like. I see the bad, but I see the good. Like I'm gonna respect you for your good, and I'm gonna remember your bad. But I'm I'm not gonna bring that shit up. Okay. Yeah, I ain't throwing That's it in nobody's good. face. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I <clears throat> I had a. Uh, Double A on here, mm -hmm. and he produced for NBA Young Boy. Yeah, I hear that. I hear yeah, that tag yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, how, how was it for you in, uh, working with uh, NBA Young Boy? Um, man, I was working with him when he was very, very young. So, I had his first hit, like first the song that everybody know him for. So, at the time, it's not this same Young Boy. You feel okay. me? I'm like the I'm the person that was early on. Like, pretty much er anybody I work with is early because I ain't like no hype beast nigga. Like, I ain't finna chase a nigga they think they too big to do my music or to work with me or to use my beat. I'm the nigga that I'm trying to make you too big to want to use a nigga beat. You feel me? And I would hope that just bring us doing a lot of work. So, I was the nigga that was there first with no smoke. Mm, yeah. yeah, but to be the be, to be first—that's what Soulja Boy like to mm. say. First, to be first though is is something exciting because you're a trendsetter at that point, right? Right. That's like to this day. Um, when anybody got something to say, like I always get comparisons about Drake, and like my partners produced for Drake, and my partners produced for um. You know, Beyonce and crazy shit. So I'm always throwing in producer conversations. And when they bring me up, they be like, man, that nigga Chose just ain't doing big shit like us, though. Or, like, it'll be girls arguing, like, well, Chose ain't did nothing for Drake or Beyonce. And I be like, bitch, I did NBA Youngboy first hit. <laughs> Have you ever made a star? I ain't gonna just hop on Drake train. I'm the nigga who, I'm in front of this shit. Like, y'all yeah. niggas gotta go knock on the door and please, please use my beat. I'm the nigga that's like, you see hey, it. You use my beat. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do, and that's that's what I pride myself on. I don't pride myself on being a nigga who wearing the the the, the new design. I pride myself on being a nigga who put on some designer before niggas knew about it, mm -hmm. and now they selling that shit for twelve hundred dollars. You feel me? Not real talk. NBA Young Boy is designer. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, 
Fredo Bang is designer. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you about Fredo Bang. Megan the Stallion is designer now. You Megan feel definitely me? Definitely designer. But do these people designer. remember, or what, do people? Because what you're saying, it almost like what we were talking about earlier, that like in the beginning of the game, we had you, but then people be like, oh, y'all ain't interviewed DJ Chose, is because they haven't done their research and really went back and looked to see he was on here. Right. Same thing with you and doing people early out. People might not realize that that was you or that. You know that you even did a song for them, so they're not think, giving you the credit for it. Yeah, I don't think nobody do. Like, I'm not one to even. You gotta know to know with me, mm -hmm. right. and it's because I'm really, really rich. You feel me? When I say that, I mean like, I'm, I'm fine. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah, it'd be like I ain't a nigga who trying to. Like, I don't even want to take no credit away from these artists. These artists are great artists. They changed my life, you feel me? As yeah. much as I changed theirs. Correct. So with me, I ain't finna be the nigga everywhere you see me. Um, oh, I did this and I did this, and if it wouldn't be this without me, nah, nigga, I wouldn't be who I am without y'all. Oh, okay. You know, I'm humble enough to tell y'all that y'all might not tell me the same thing, but fuck y'all if you don't. You feel right. me? But for me, nigga, thank all you niggas for using <laughs> my beats. You feel me? So Straight Fredo up. Bangs, how, how did that whole situation even come to be? You know, as far as you making that hit with him. Man, Fredo, um, Fredo's just a good nigga. Like, okay. he DM'd me. We got in the DM. I was a little scared to work with him. I had everybody saying, man, don't work with Fredo. Why, it's dangerous or? It's, it's very dangerous. Well, at the, shit, till today, it's, it, everything is dangerous. So, I'm not one of the niggas that's trying to be dangerous no more. I had my dangerous... You know, I, I sacrificed my life for this shit that I'm on right Bro, now. Bro, I'm telling you, I was I was offered to go to a studio in in uh, California, and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like, and like people was trying to get me to come do an interview at the studio, and it, it wasn't a bad thing. It's just the reputation that it holds, and me yeah. being in another city, it's like I gotta know that it's you know everything. I could have called in some things and made it happen, but it yeah. was like I'm not gonna go through that tonight. Yeah, nah, for real. You just gotta be careful how you move. Am I right? Like, nah, that's that's what it is. Like, the thing is, when I actually got to Fredo, I realized that bro heart good. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just, you know, you got certain instances of rumors. Every every artist got these rumors behind them. Not even rumors. All these niggas are staying over, nigga. Every, I ain't been around one pussy rapper. Right. That's why my <laughs> life is different. Like, I be around niggas and be like, y'all niggas got it easy. Y'all work with who? I wish I could work with them. Yeah. Every nigga I work with then stood over a nigga, been to jail. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I, I know it because when you're around them, it's a different, it's a different right. energy. Right. You feel me? They even battling with they self. Mm -hmm. So when you around a nigga and you could tell like, they don't, they don't want to get in no more trouble. But yeah. they willing to die today if you yeah, play, you know you, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, don't push my button, nigga. You going to get it. Come on, man. So, but as far as it being dangerous, this shit very dangerous. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But I don't give a f like when it come to me and my like I told you when you love shit, you go that extra mile. Right. And yeah. I try to do it as safe as I can. But some of the shit I done done, I ain't gonna lie, it ain't always been safe. Let me ask you something because you you speak about the hits and the early hits and the the way that you've been able to really scale mon monetarily. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, how did you know how to conduct your business? Because I see so many young dudes come through here that really they got in deals, bad situations to mm -hmm. where they weren't able to capitalize on the assets. Right. Or, or, you know, I how, don't know how to how, how to really, the business the go. money part. Correct. How did you know that? How did you how did you understand that so early on? Um, for me, I had a great lawyer. Name Leslie Cross. Got to have a great lawyer. How did you find him? Man, um, somebody turned me on to him. Okay. And I had a great, you know, this nigga probably never think I'd give him his flowers, but I got to give him today. Uh, me and my manager, my ex-manager, we, we separated. You okay. feel me? We separated like, I want to say two years ago, three years ago. But, man, when I say this nigga unselfishly taught me the game, and I feel like when you my age – or when you do what I do, you can't pay a nigga to be real because every nigga wants to be needed and they feel like if if you don't need them no more, then 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 they they useless. So I love when a nigga selfishly, unselfishly 
gives me the game. He gave me the game. It ain't like I didn't need him. You feel me? We just we hit a point where we both I don't know what made us go left, but it it was like a disagreement. But other than that, man, the nigga gave me the game. I stood on business. He stood on business. We made a lot of money. Every one of my managers, my ex manager, my current manager, the manager before that, all of them got money. All of them got nice houses, subdivisions. You feel me? We broke bread. But when it come to these young niggas, you gotta find you an old nigga that ain't that ain't scared to to understand that they meant to be in your life for five years. It might not be a lifetime. You feel me? Like you can't take twenty percent from me forever. Yeah. And I'm just a nigga who, after I hit a certain point, I realized like I right, if it's certain things that my older manager don't want to do that I feel like is necessary for me because I'm also living a dangerous life. So if you get to telling me, hey, every beat you sell, I want this, I'm going to get that to you till I realize, hey, I done been to 20 sessions where all these niggas got sticks and I'm in that bitch by myself. I need some goddamn security. Can we take that out of your bread? Because if I keep taking it out of my bread, but I don't think, I think most young niggas never really understand it. So you got to watch what you sign. But all my deals with these managers be handshakes. I don't do, like, when it comes to that, I don't really do no more paperwork, even with labels now. All my deals with these labels, I've been, if y'all niggas don't want to shake on it, fuck it. Like, that's all we can do is shake because I'm done being buying to a contract. I'm too. I get it. I yeah. get it. I got a question. So you know how right now in the industry is like female, I want to say females running everything, right? Right, right, right. So, but I've had some females who've been on here and, you know, dealing with men in, in the industry, whether it be producers or or um, labels or or just other artists right. working with them and so forth. A lot of them say it's hard because some of them tend to want to not just work, but work in other ways, trying to be with them, trying to be, Trying you know, to fuck them. Exactly. Right. So, um. <laughs> that what you trying to say? A, lo <laughs> a lot of, a lot of women, I, I find this very often. Yeah, we hear it a lot. What do you think about that? Um, I think it's true, but I also think it's reverse for me. No matter what they got to say, like, with me, I've always tend to work with female artists that become territorial. So, like, I don't really want to speak much on it, but anytime I'm working with a girl artist, once we do one song, one hit, it's like, if I try to go over here and work with somebody, it's like, I don't know to work with them. You can't work with that bitch. And I be like, damn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he like, you not my girl, you know what I'm saying? But it'll later lead to shit, like, I, I, I probably ain't work with a girl artist who ain't got, well, I ain't gonna say probably ain't because it's a couple of them that stand on business. But it ain't too many girl artists that if I'm really involved in their career, don't get drunk and send me some crazy shit. You feel Damn, me? really? Yeah, so I can't really, and I'm not talking, you know, this ain't for all y'all. And you've never crossed personal. the line. Who, me? Yes, you. And I didn't. What? Yeah, he, this <laughs> DJ chose, bro. I'm just asking. Show this on, chose, man. Chose on rent some. Yeah, 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 but yeah, at yeah, this yeah. age, I become more of a boss. Right. Um, I don't temper with, I don't temper with the goods no right. more. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to do business now. Mm -hmm. But the younger me, like, I think the moment, I think my, the moment I serious up, and I knew, like, I want to be a better producer. It was right at Megan. I would just mm. for ask you that. It was right at Megan. When I met Megan, it was like, oh, this this special. I'm going to keep my dick in my pants. Oh, I'm going to try to, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I ain't saying it like I. How hard was it? It was Pause. hard, but I ain't, I ain't even. <laughs> hard to keep you know it. what I'm saying? I ain't saying she wanted to fuck with me. Or I'm just right. saying, like. For any nigga working with Megan, it's gonna be hard to be up in the studio with that woman and not be attracted to her. Yeah. Right. So I personally just took it up on myself, like, you know what? I'm gonna stand on business in here and I'm gonna do business. Like, cause she she also used to tell me about, you know, people who would do her come yeah. at her like that. So I, I think like, every female been through it, but I think they respect you more when you handle it in a more professional way. And that what I did. But I ain't gonna cap though, like not with her, but anybody after that, and most of the girls after that that I did that with, they grew to liking me more 
that that's actually like a turn on of girls when you yeah, don't, don't when you a boss like you gotta think half of these girls ain't never seen this shit I'm doing you feel me I'm really boom $60,000 pub chick yeah and you're not chick. trying to get in their pants so it makes them want you even more yeah that turned into you went out to eat so you went to steak when we going shit <laughs> 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 you know, I got it what's up <laughs> so you know that ain't really I, I think it's flipped around I think that's cap I think a lot of these women that sound good to you in the studio with a nigga who right now maybe you don't want no rapper cause you didn't seen some 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 real money now but you know let's not act like if you was in that bitch with a different echelon of a guy you wouldn't be trying to come on to him if he was yeah, interested in your passion you so it goes both ways it goes both ways because we've seen some who come on here who shows us texts Oh, of man, people we above some them who be like man if you want this, this you need to do you this, need to do this. Or else we ain't doing it I've nah. seen that I've yeah, seen them some seen strong stuff, aggressive stuff in there on people these up there for nah that ain't my style I ain't gonna lie I, let me be quiet but that ain't my style I'm actually in a better place like I got shit I got somebody I love so fuck but when, when, how do you, you oh, how do you, how do you, you I, I too, gotta know how do you know because you said um, you got somebody you love how does she feel about you know these women who say you know who be hitting on you should say I mean she had to deal with it for a little while I took her up through the you know what I'm saying but um hey every great woman must go through a um <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be my you know what put it together. great woman must go through a, a trial and a tribulation. You no, like, how do I mean? How do you? How did you know she was genuine? How do you know being a person, a millionaire, a man with a lot of money, a lot of statue, a boss? Uh -huh. How do you know? How do you know when somebody's genuine? They trying to holler at you anyway. You know? How do you pick that? How out? did you know that the one that you have you right know? now was genuine? I'm gonna tell you this. This go for any woman I've ever. Thought was genuine. Some of them don't be. But my true assessment is, if I take you on five dates, and every one of them we're going to get high-end steaks, you feel me, top-of-the-line seafood, I'm doing everything you want me to do. By that six, seven date, if them two don't come out with, oh, baby, I got it, or oh, baby, I'm going to plan it, or like if it ain't no effort in that woman I start to understand that that woman my liability she ain't really she ain't really sliding for me mm -hmm. you feel me so you know them the kind of women that if I spent a long time in them relationships if I would if I was to go three years I'd be done took care of that woman I'd be done got me like I'd be done told like you ain't gotta pay for nothing you feel me but by the end of that time I realized like you know most women secretive with their finances don't even look. I already knew he nah, looking over here. I gotta tell Don't like even it. look over here. I got to tell yeah, like it is. Yeah, over there. Yeah, Most yeah. women. I agree, the, Joe. Hold on. Ain't that DJ hold Joe's on. over there? Look like DJ Joe's over there. No, no, yeah, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's the truth, nigga. Like, I be getting robbed, nigga. Like, Although, let me tell you, although women are secretive with their finances, let me tell you. If push come to shove and you need it, we there for you, okay? Shit. Let me let me finish what I was gonna say. <laughs> let me finish what I was gonna say. Most women are secretive with their finances. But my problem with a secretive woman is if I give you three years, if you fuck with a nigga like me for three years with no bills, and on that third year you ain't saved up seventy five thousand, we gotta break up. Exactly. Well, I, I, like that. I like that. That's very that's very no, true. I'm taking care yeah. of you. That's I true. Feel, I feel that, you know, we stack it so just for emergency purposes. Yeah, because I can't lie, mine gonna drop out when necessary if it's something we need to do. Yeah. So I ain't, I ain't tripping. That's 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 the way it go. Hey man. It's it's either you my girlfriend or my broke friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, you my girl but if you my broke friend, I'm gonna take you down up and through the you feel me? If you my girlfriend, then you you holding your weight like me. Mm -hmm. So, because the last time I, we, you don't have any kids yet. Nah, no kids. So what's I'm your shooting plans? that bitch up. Yeah, I was about, to, I was about to say so. When? When he gonna have some kids? It's on. It's on the way. I've been. You know, I've been really, really. You want kids? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie though. You know, I think my past. Uh, you know, I was out here running. I was like a. So you might have some kids out there and don't know. 
I ain't got no kids. <laughs> they would have, they would have, they would have cried wolf already. <laughs> right there, all these money, all this money, I'm getting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they done, they been knocking at that door. Tell me about Norman North. It, it seems to be something different. Oh, you a motherfucker, boy. <laughs> 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 it seems to be something different. You a motherfucker. <laughs> Tell me, I mean, because I listened to some of it, man. Dope, man. Yeah. It just seemed like a serious side of you, to be honest with you. Yeah. Also, some country feel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's something different. Oh, it's country. Yeah. It's tell country. me, tell me, tell me about it. Just explain to me what. How did you go to that place? Yeah. Is it something that you always thought about doing, or just? I mean, I've been listening to country music since I was a baby. Listening to the. Bluebell homemade ice cream commercial, you know. What yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah, that yeah. Shit, that shit had me as a young a, a child. You know, growing up where I grew up, we always had like white boys that we would listen to their music in the in the locker room, and they would listen to we some headbusters right, right before the game. That's so, right. you know, when you hear the right country song, you get to realize like, oh, this shit ain't bad. You know, mm -hmm. Big Green Check, the Jason Aldean, that shit fire. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. So. There, there is Rucker. Mm -hmm. There is Rucker. Yeah. All that. So what happened was when my mama died, um, I had kept listening to Dear Mama. I wish R. Kelly. They just did the R. Kelly scan. I'm like, man, I don't know if I should be jamming this shit. But I would break down and cry after the after I DJ. I'm on the freeways wow. and just tears. I wish, I wish. This right when they stand, nigga, ban them. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, this all I got is two songs. <laughs> you can't ban Kelly right now. I know that's right. You feel me? So, then mama got old because I'm like, my mama dead. You know, you talking about you appreciating your mama. I wish related to me. Mm -hmm. So, one day I'm like, man, I'm played I wish out. And I hear this one song called Five Minutes, Five More Minutes uh, by this dude named Scotty McCree. And he talking about time rolls. Time rolls by, the clock don't stop. I wish I had a few more, a few more drops of the good stuff, the good times, but all oh, they just keep on flying. I, I, don't, I can't even quote the whole song, but man, the song is, is that about, one is the one talking about heaven also. He talk about a lot of shit in the song, but okay, I he, think that was he talking about five more minutes with his girl, five more minutes with his grandpa, like right. everybody that I think I know meant that song. something to him. There you go, so. When I hear this song, I break down. I listen to that for a month. Mm -hmm. And then some say, man, just go listen to country. I go listen. I find more country music that resonate. For you know it, I'm six months in, not listening to no rap. Mm -hmm. So between me and y'all, the only reason y'all got thick was because I listened to country for so long. Wow. Oh, wow. I had to get all of the hate out of my heart because before that, I was writing so much street shit. You know, it was street shit. I'm, I'm just dishing it. I'm selling all the street shit I'm writing. And I realized, ooh, I love country. Once I got through with country, it was like, every girls used to DM me from PV like, man, we want some old twerk shit. And I would be like, girl, that shit ain't doing nothing. Because I'm like watching everybody else make twerk songs. They don't do nothing. Man, after I got through with that country, I was like, ooh. I'm happy than a bitch. Let's do some twerk music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I do that. And then some say, man, no, no, I had to, I recorded a country album. It's my first ever country right. album when I dropped it. The album, um, when I dropped the album, the album ended up doing like half a million streams under another name. The, the account... I'm on, got a thousand followers. Like, nobody knew who the fuck I was. Nobody knew nothing about me. So, personally, Norman North was an experiment that I realized is the future for me. Wow. That's the fucking future. Like, you know how every nigga out here want to be bang, bang, shoot him mm. up? I want to I wanna go down as an OG. I want to be boozy badass. Not me. Not me. When I get out of this bitch... I'm finna be Darius Rucker. Hey. I'm finna be Darius with uh with a straight tone though, cause when I'm in Nashville, I don't talk like them. I just left Apple. I was at Apple in Nashville. I got like a country record that came out, did amazing. Wow. While I'm in there, them people love me cause I'm authentic. They was like, man, we just love that. You know, when most black people come in here, they put it's on. Country. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, we like that you. You who you is. We know. 
you know, dope. we like y'all. They but they not saying like they not being racist. They like we 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 I'm like you. Like we talk like you, you know. We only talk country when we got to because we don't wanna be so they like we in there shooting the shit. You feel Having me? A good time. So I realized I'm like, man. Cause at first I was if you notice my country, I used to pin on like button ups, so I pin on country stuff, cause I'm from the country, I know how to dress it. Me too. I used to go to trail rides, all that mm -hmm. shit. So when I realized, man, those people don't give a fuck, I put on my biggest video, I got a Cuban link on. I'm like, man, fuck that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shine in them bitches. Yeah. Real. Yeah. I no. love the fact that you did it because I remember our last interview, you talk about how positivity, positivity in your music, you talk mm -hmm. about the name chose, came, you know, your mom, when she talked about, you know, a higher purpose, when you told her that, you know, you are gonna serve a higher purpose, when she's sure. talking about, you know, just the rap and so forth. So I love the fact that you did that because I can see where you're going with it. Man, you, you know, know what's what I mean? crazy though? What? The goal was to make sure that one of, one of these days, the next kid that wants to be a star doesn't have to look at somebody young, dumb, and reckless. They'll be able to see me and say, if they if they got like that kind of background, they could be like, yeah, I can I can rap, but if I want to, shit, I could do country too. Mm. You feel me? That's what I I want. I might not be the biggest of of me, but I might be the first inspiration. Like when I look at um, it's a lot of people that took that that inspiration role. You feel me? Right. Um, I'm trying to think of who, but I I would imagine. For somebody like Zero is that to somebody. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like Zero never got that. Like Zero big, of course, but Zero never got that. I want to say ride wave moment. Like the Texas, he he he, he did. got that big. And we talking about during his era, of course. Right. But I feel like he inspired so many people along the way and he healed so many people or he, he resonated with so many people that a lot of them artists that came out, maybe, you know, we don't, we'll never know who, but I forget who stayed sampling Zero or doing Zero songs, but somebody was inspired by him. Mm. And no, he, he definitely. That's what I want to be. Like, if I can't do nothing else. T-Rail was on there and he said it, it was, he said that he was the first one that did that singing style and my comments went crazy. Yeah, my nigga with zero. No, no, <laughs> with zero, zero. They kept saying, "No, nah, it wasn't T Rail. It was zero. It wasn't T Rail. It was some niggas even got more got more in the R and B than that. Didn't yeah, yeah, it? Was, they was steadily going in like it wasn't. Who else did they say, babe? It was a bunch of them. It's a bunch. They start naming people that I wasn't even near about thinking about. They went back and and they started saying, "No, nah, it wasn't him. It was this person." He did but, what he's supposed to do. I'm finna do some crazy shit. Hey, I'm the first nigga to do <laughs> club music, bitch. Yeah. What nobody doing no mean? club nigga, I started music. this shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yin Yang, you know, they make a hole in the wall music. Nigga. I do club music, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Club, the club, nigga, not the, the chicken shack, nigga, where they selling barbecue plates, nigga. I make club music, nigga. <laughs> So so, do you still talk to uh, uh, Megan the Stallion and 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 do are y'all working together again or will y'all? You want the truth? Yeah, I want, want the, the truth. I don't want I this boss talk, man. <laughs> uh, the truth is, I think I think when everything, I, I want to say like two years ago when a lot of shit happened, mm -hmm. I feel like she just separated herself from the world. And okay. I think within that, I was just one of them people who, I don't even think it's like her. I think it's just like, I ain't, I got so many middlemen to get to Megan that it'd be like, man, I love you. I just can't do all of that. Like, cause I'm a real day one. So I just figure like, when you respond to my DMs and we'll talk. You but sound other than like that, PMC. He didn't want to go through nobody to get to nobody. He just didn't feel like it was just the nah, way to go. Cause that's my sister. Like, yeah, but you see real. what I'm saying though. Like that's yeah. the way he would talk. Like if you played him like that, yeah, she ain't play. She just, I, I just think you know. No, I'm saying if he felt yeah, like yeah. it was gonna be a play like that, like you saying, yeah. he wasn't about to even. Right, I can't. I just can't. Um, I think, you know, me and her go too far back for for me to have to go through a lot of niggas or shit like that. It just be, it's weird, you know. But I don't. The the one thing about I always tell niggas, like when you really family. 
it don't matter how long you go without talking like family is family yeah, and when you see each other like if we can't look each other in the eye and cry and be happy to see each other then I don't know if we family so Real. for me like if I got a nigga I ain't talked to in a while like my partner and they be like nigga you don't fuck with me nigga fuck you you a bitch nigga you changed I be like Ooh, you ain't family. You never was. So for me, when we get to talking about Megan, I'm always stand on my same business, which is, hey, we family. We'll talk when we talk because I ain't finna change just because we ain't talk. I ain't mm. said nothing bad. I ain't going, uh, I ain't on the other side. I ain't on no side. You feel me? And with all that being said, that just means shit. I'm who I am. And if you still fuck with me, we who we are. All we need to do is get a line of communication. And when that start happening, it's gonna be, be like it never moment. happened. Yeah, it'd be yeah. a double because he just dropped a project. Yeah, and, I was just uh, Kiki, thinking about that. I think it was Lil Kiki and somebody else was and on Mr. there. Mr. Lee produced. Oh yeah, Mr. Lee produced it, and and, and uh, it was a song on there that they all got on. I seen that. Yeah, that was dope. That was a dope move culture. for the culture, yeah. man. So I because she hadn't worked with nobody in Texas nah, for a it while. It seemed like she had, like you said, kind of disconnected herself from. I everything. think she had too, though. I think she working on herself too. I think everybody is in a sense. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we all go through whatever we go through, and we work on ourselves. To be better people is what I would think, sure. and then you get in this game so young that you growing in this game. People forget about that part that yeah. you are actually growing up in this game. You know what I mean? You grew up in this game, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a part of it, bro. I mean, people gonna make some mistakes too. See, you right, you right. Um, I mean, you totally right. I I feel like she had to do what she. You know what I'm saying? What she what she had to do, which yeah. is you go through so much of that. Like you gotta understand, her mama died. When my mama died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even to even take it to the next level. Like her mother was like a mother to me. She used to. Her mama used to tell me, "You can't dress." So I was like, "I'm gonna style you." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Straight up, she was like, "Uh, man, I'm a I'm a manager." You know, Megan gonna be like Pimp C, and you gonna be like Kanye. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I used to, like, right before her mom passed, she was about to be my manager. Like, we was in the middle of wow. working at that because I ain't had no manager at the time. Mm -hmm. So, with me and her, we locked in. I just think, you know, as time goes by, man, it's just so many people who be around that really, you know, they might say, oh, yeah, you know, I'm fighting for you. And it'd be like, man, I don't, I, like, when it come to them voices sometimes, you really can't trust niggas in 2022 because you never know who got your best interest. And I'm one of them niggas who like, that nigga right there, that nigga right there, they can say what they want to, you feel me? But I got my, I'm, I'm really like the boss, you feel me? I'm not, I don't need a yes man, I don't need a no man. All I need is niggas to understand, hey, I got the vision, follow it, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. And I think, you know, but everybody be in full control of themselves, they gotta get at that point where I got the vision, follow me, you feel me? How boy Wes had spoke on something, he said that uh, he was saying that how people, he pretty much alluded to people being opportunists, you know, you don't know who to trust, right. because once you own, people just looking at you as a opportunity. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you get, you you signed to a deal, everybody, you rocking with you, whether it be Gucci, whoever he with at the time, it's like, it's kind of, it's a trip to trust, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Now the game crazy. Um, I would definitely say I definitely can't trust nobody. I didn't seen it all this year. I didn't seen it all. Like when I say I didn't seen it all, I'm talking about man, I'd have been betrayed so many times this year. So anybody Even from people close to you. Man, come on man. I'm talking about laid in that bed with you. <laughs> you feel me? Laid in that bed. You feel me? But when something like that happened. How hard is it for you to trust somebody again to let somebody else in? Um, see, I think I'm crossing that battle. Like I'm like not, especially in the same way. Like if you, if I got crossed, for instance, I'd have been crossed by somebody I truly thought numerously. I'd have been crossed by women I really thought fuck with me, you know. And I didn't see it at all. I didn't been recorded. I didn't been. I'm talking about. I didn't slayed a bitch. You feel me? She. She got it. Whenever she leak it, I'm like, man, bitch, drop it already. You feel me? Get it over <laughs> she with. She trying to let it hold over your head. Yeah, get it over with. Like, I'm calm, go What, she want some money or something? I don't know what she want. You feel me? I really don't know. She want control. <laughs> she want control. But I done told her, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Get it over with. I ain't ashamed of nothing. Damn. 
That boy, this yeah, bitch hang out. Do we got to do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, hey, 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 you know, I'm gonna I'm grow up out of shore. You feel me? This bitch stellar. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, no. Do what you gotta do, love. So, you how know. is it that, okay, because. With a person with money, cause you know how Sean Con came on here and say you don't really know a person until they get money. Mm-hmm. But then being a person that have money, how how hard is it to come from nothing to something and still stay humble? Man, to me it's not, cause when you come from where I came from, it's like you be so scared of going back. So it's hard to really just be. Out your mind, out your body. I'm this. I'm rich. I'm like it's hard to really carry that aura, cause I would be so ashamed to go back to that trailer house if I if I if I jumped all the way right. out there like that. You feel me? So I be in my comfort zone, which is I ain't changed. I ain't stayed the same. What I did is adapted, my nigga. But did I go all the way over here? No. Am I all the way over here still? No. Mm-hmm. I, I still it's niggas from my hood that could. I'm still in pictures with I still fuck with y'all. One of y'all niggas kill me in my hood. It'll be at church. It'll be at a kids giveaway. It won't be shooting dice with you niggas. It won't be that way. Mm-hmm. It won't be in the trap. It won't be. I ain't fuck. I ain't going through the trap. My best friend just got shot three times. Everybody in the trap house got shot. Wow. Damn. You ain't gonna catch me over there. I love them niggas though. I always tell a nigga, hey bro, I fuck with you. I ain't going over there. I don't even know why you back over there, but he mm. he one of them niggas. He just gonna trap. Yeah, you feel me? Trap. But it's rich niggas that be like, man, go on get the lamb truck. You got it? Or go on, go on, go on get your house in Miami. You got it? No, nigga. Nigga, I like, nigga, I like, I like. I like this four thousand dollar mortgage I got, nigga. <laughs> Dope in, in Texas, man. Yeah. Stand up, Texas. Come on, man. I like, I like my bills being paid, and and I and it don't. I, I, I it ain't, don't even shake me. It don't do it nothing. Feel like it happened, you know? Yeah, what I'm nigga, saying? just living life. Nigga, just living. So I'm, I'm in living my bag. Smart. Being yeah. very smart. So I already can is. tell. I can sense that in you, uh, Sauce Walker. You, you and Sauce do some work together. I like Sauce. Uh, Cause that he, this is a song he just did that. Uh, had that Rodney O. I'm an old school nigga. That Rodney O. Joe Cooley beat came in that hole, yeah. and I was like, damn, yeah, you know, he loved like it. I pumped that hole. We were going to Arkansas mm-hmm. to see Gutter TV. Nigga, Sauce like, smart though. That like, nigga smart. I like that nigga, man. He been he been knocking into his own little tree. He been in his bag, but. Walk won't walk won't do no records with me. Why? Why? Uh, every time we talk, he'd be like, "Cause you know, walk real into his artistry. Like he, he gon', he don't really want me to come in and get no <laughs> ideas. He like, nigga, I want to work with you, nigga, but you gotta do it his way. Yeah, he like, nigga, I can't do it. Like, I can't. You ain't finna come in here and P Diddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and to me, it's like shit. You don't need me then, cause <laughs> you want to you want to come do it. Yeah, that, well, I I want to like, I'm like an A and R. Where the people know it, like I'm a producer, but I'm really a lot of niggas don't know this. Um, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'm one of the people that got Don Tolliver or helped with Don Tolliver getting signed to his first little situation. Wow. You feel me? And it was like. When I think about what I was given for the trend, like for the for the the plug I did, it was like not even pennies, like to 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 these billions and millions of dollars being made. Like it was it was it was terrible. But you know, when you're young, you don't know. You just connecting dots. You're not realizing, hey, it's that's you supposed to have a title for that. Niggas right. really supposed to be. No, you did your thing. Supposed to be salary for that shit. Set. I did. Yeah, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. I brought I brought a label, Megan the Stallion, before they ever. They was like, nah, that ain't it. And I'm telling Megan, like, Megan, don't go sign over there with the deal that you currently can't stand right now. I'm, I'm like, man, wait, I got a deal for you, but they didn't move fast enough, so I can't be mad at Megan for what she done. She had to do. You feel me? And. Granted, I'm not in that shit. Like I, I man, that, what what they did in the paper, that's is. what they yeah. did. You feel me? But before that, I'm the nigga really, really walking around calling every label. Hey, I got the hottest female, female. artist since whoever, bitch. She here now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody believe me. Nobody believe me. Now look at them. Yeah. You yeah, feel me? Stay to listen. Now look at them. I yeah. remember when 
Man, this shit can go on. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> I, you I remember what? Ball, we got like, time today. This boss talk. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. But I'm gonna end all. Let's. Get, get, I, if a nigga got a song, and they don't know what's wrong with it, I'm gonna come in and be like, hey, if a nigga had a freestyle, like I wish I could sit in the studio with Money Man, cause I'd be like, Money Man, bro. That's my guy right there. You need a hook. You think you can make him better? No, he already good. He good. He that's he, my he, nigga. Know, Don't do that. He good. Money man, let me tell you, that's my one of my favorite know, cats, love, man. Love, like yeah. it's certain niggas with, with me, man. I just I ain't let no nigga play with these dudes, man. I, I, money I'm man, not, that guy. I'm not playing with money man. He one of my favorite artists. When I'm in the gym, I listen to money man. I'm listening make a nigga to hustle. money man. Yeah, make a nigga go. My problem with money man is his music so good, <laughs> so good. I've never heard a nigga so good. That all I want to do is listen to you rap, but then when I'm done, I don't remember it because I'm verses so long, mm. and I need a hook. So I really wish I could sit with Money Man and be like, "Hey, Money Man, this part right there that you just said, nigga, let's just fly that four more times, and that's a hook, nigga. We got a hook. People gonna remember that part. That's right. Nigga. I didn't even think about that. You know what I'm saying? Because everything <laughs> said hook. Right, let's man. just double that shit, nigga. Make it a hook. And Money Man, gonna, I, I fuck with Money Man, right? Like, we be texting this shit. But Money Man, do not. I know you rap good. You rap fast. <laughs> do not throw one of them sneaky-ass disses in. Nigga said, I need a hook. I ain't going to ever do it. Like, Money Man will throw that shit out of my I'm just saying, Money Man, I really... <laughs> <laughs> that my nigga, man. Though no, I, I, man, my nephew played that nigga so much, I had to feel him. Like he kept yeah. every time he come up. Dun, 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 dun. I'm like, what the hell? This nigga every time the BJ, the whole first album sound like the the, the, the mixtape sound like the the songs just coming right after another. They sound and like they ball, ball. ball for ball. Just everything had me motivated. Like hey, oh you're yeah, yeah. I, fuck, I fuck with money, man. Yeah. Yeah. man. So who is the okay? Go ahead. Hottest new artist coming up. Who do you think that is? Hottest new artist coming Somebody up. Somebody he likes. Mm-hmm. And that's Norman North. I'm just make my shit easy. <laughs> I love it. Norman, Norman North. North. Yeah. That nigga hard. Yeah, I want to ask you something about this. You was on that legend, Lil Kiki. Yep. How was that process in that with him being that, you know, that you remember I asked you about the mm-hmm. old and the new. Right. And, and I was happy when I seen you on that. was a dope legend. was a dope project, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. I just love the way he brought everybody together on that project. Right. How did you work with him and, and just kind of how did you feel about the whole project? Man, look, Kiki, like, he's like that person that we talk every week. You oh, yeah? Me? That's it's my crazy. boy. He, he called me today. He just <laughs> called me a while ago. He's like, look, bro, you going to be at that Kevin Gates concert? I'm like, yeah. Oh, I'm coming. I got to come see this shit, nigga. I'm coming. <laughs> look, bro, I'm coming to see you. He I'm coming? Like, yeah, yeah. He said he coming. So, uh, when, when coming is, to Houston. It's all oh, nice. damn. We can drive down. No, I want him to come in the studio because we already did it in here. She want a vacation, okay. nigga. You no, we go, we go everywhere. <laughs> Hell, I'm tired. Yeah, 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 she yeah, always, it's up. tomorrow? When is it? Tomorrow I got... He got one tomorrow. Yeah, listen, tomorrow. Well, Kevin if I figure out how to get some credentials, I'm going to fuck with y'all. Yeah, yeah kinda, I come. I don't go nowhere. Seen. Yeah. You're, I I ain't, you know, I just got on it, so I ain't... Uh, I ain't tripping. <laughs> you feel me? I'm, a, I'm one of them niggas. Whatever where, you're doing. I'm, yeah. I'm with you with it, whatever. But yeah. I'm telling you right now, I'm with you regardless. And I'm lazy as hell because I do a lot. No, no, no. I'm the same way. Yeah. He be doing all the editing and everything. Like, like why you tell all my business every because time? Nigga, we got a whole to you. staff. We got a lot got of people that's staff. helping. Yeah, this yeah, is like big. Apple. But you do he got all a of it. I don't do all, all of it. Shit. No. It's somebody no, else. It's a lot of people in there. Do that shit. No, we have a lot of people that do other stuff. I'm not going to say they don't. We do have a lot of people. We have a team. I don't trust people, first of all. Yeah. I feel like the sauce has to be a certain way. And with me not doing it, it would be something. That, and and my people know that, too. You want to know something? What's that? I'm about to fuck you up. Bro right here shoot my videos, but I edit them. <laughs> so I'm going to see. He's just see? like me. Like, That's the same like, thing. No, no cap. That's and, the truth. And he can edit his ass off. Exactly. But it's like. You know exactly what you want. Exactly. That's exactly Y'all what it is. Y'all want to know what's even crazier? What? I used to nobody noticed. I used to shoot all Megan videos. Okay, I was her when when nobody would shoot her videos and she didn't have the money. I was the nigga with the camera shooting her shit right. Like all she got a video shot at my house. Her viral, first viral song was shot at my house. Damn, mm. that's dope. So, what was the name of that song? Uh, Stally Freestyle. Style, okay. So me and her used to sit on the floor because I edit that bitch up and she'd be like, uh uh-uh, uh, nigga, I don't like how my face look. Come on, Charles, I'm gonna come over there. 
So we we'll just sit on the floor all day and edit videos. That's dope, boy. You so, can't make this up. Real people, like I would just say, most bosses hand. If you're not hands on, you really can't say you're a boss because a like motherfucker it. give you what they want to give you a lot of times. I like but it, but I always feel like you have to start out that way because when you actually hire somebody and you show them what you want, you have to be able to know how to do it just in case they ever leave. You don't mm -hmm. want to be stuck and be like, I don't know what to do now. Right, you know most definitely. I, mean? I gotta go back to the little Kiki, the legend, the the situation with right. that. How how was it? Like like um, the process. Okay, so me and Kiki got this thing. When he finished his album, he always called me and say, "Lebro, you know I need you." And I'd be like, "What's up, man?" But now I understand. He, I need that young nigga shit. And I'd be like, "Shit, got you." He be and he be like, "That's real." I want that young nigga shit that make me feel the way though. Mm -hmm. Like I used to try to like. The first song I ever did with Kiki, it was me, B King, and Kiki. What and was the name of that song? I forgot. I don't you done forgot. Yeah, he did yeah. so many songs. This nigga hell right but here. But <laughs> it was some shit B King did. So, you know, we did it. I liked it. And then I realized, like, man, you know what? Kiki is an outlet for me to get off my pain. Damn. Because I got pain in me. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? yeah. It's just that I don't be want to dwell in it. And I could do pain better than a lot of niggas. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I can get my pain off with Kiki. And that so sells right now. When me and Kiki get in, we do pain records together. So mm -hmm. we did this. We most, I think the last one called uh, "Baby Mama Calling My Phone." She's like, "What? I forgot the name of it." But I got a million songs. But um, we do pain records, and we make them. We do young pain records. Mm -hmm. So. He loved me though. He loved. He loved. When you do pain records, because you know they always say um, you put all of the anger all of the pain in the music and mm -hmm. it's therapy do you actually feel better after you let all that pain go hell yeah it really it really to me it's a relief um a lot of my pain music just be shit i didn't saw and then in my verse i get to get off on how bad these women did me like my pain be my pain ain't regular pain though it's rich pain mm. you feel me a lot of these niggas talking about like street pain i'm talking rich pain i'm talking about Bitch, what is rich pain? It's know, mainly females. Uh, females, money, motherfuckers recording you, motherfuckers always needing some money, motherfuckers needing a favor, motherfuckers don't never call you nothing genuine, nothing mm -hmm. genuine. Every call is, I it's like, van, like every call I get these days be like, uh, I'm going to really shoot the shit with you for a little bit because I need you to think we, we fucking right. with you. And then somewhere in there is going to be... Some bullshit. Like, do you be just on the phone sitting waiting for that part? Oh yeah, I, I was on. The, hey, bro, you, you gonna say your car? <laughs> the fuck? I need my car, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga wants you to really give it to him anyway. Come on, man. I didn't. I didn't hear it all. Is that your mama on your necklace? Yes, yeah, my mama. She's pretty. Yeah, yeah. What? Um. Thank man. you. Oh, thank Yo, you. Sorry. Man, I lost my <laughs> mom. I need to get me. I'm going to get that picture. From down in the country, and I have I'll be I'll be able to do my piece. Okay. Cause remember, I've been asking for that mm -hmm. picture. Mm -hmm. Man, she died a long time ago, and it's just one picture I wanted. Her best friend in Louisiana got it. I'm like, I gotta get that picture. Yeah, you gotta get it. Yeah, she already got it for me. She's just waiting on me. I probably go get it this weekend. Mm -hmm. How long ago? Uh, my mom died in '96, so a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, it, it's always gonna feel like yesterday. Oh yeah, I'll never. You'll never ever feel that empty spot. That's what I That's feel the like. Truth. Just always got to remember the good times. That's what I do with my dad. I always remember because I was a tomboy, so I used to hang, do everything with him. The boys never did. Mm -hmm. And I just remember all the times we went fishing, we went hunting, we did all of that stuff together. Oh, Lord. What you got yeah. going on here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she tried to act like she hardcore. Whatever. Like she hard. Straight I am. up and, and, and <laughs> just chilling, uh, working in the flower bed, my okay. nigga. It's all good. Man, what you, let me ask you a question. What you doing to her? What you mean? She's still 20 like 21. Years. Man, I take care of her, man. Some of them, niggas don't know how to take care of no one. I'm a country nigga, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I, I, tell, I tell my little shit that all the time. I'm from East Texas, man. I'm country as hell, man. And like, I take care of you. Yeah, we take care of each other. And 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 we made agreement. It's a covenant <laughs> bond before God. So that's really it. You got to put God first, bro. Yeah. People play, but it's really a thing where if you don't put God first, bro, you're going to be in last place. At the end, go ahead. I'm learning that. No, it's true. I'm learning it. And I ain't really, like right now, I'm not the church heavy guy, but I'm real heavy on mm -hmm. God. I'm real heavy on like trying That's to good. walk. I'm learning one thing. I, I bet like my 20s started, but today 
I've been telling myself like it's reward and discipline. I ain't talking about that old shit the white folks do us do to us. I ain't talking about punishment, but discipline. It's reward and um just moving correctly and and having a goal and actually working for it. You feel me? A lot of people they be around here manifesting shit. Manifest, mm-hmm. manifestation, manifest. I'm one of them niggas who I believe in manifesting, but I also believe a lot of people predestined. Right. And when you predestined, that mean this was already put here for you. You just gotta walk in it. You just gotta go get it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, when they, they use that manifestation word to stay where they at, they looking for that bitch to fall in their hand. Exactly. Hands. I ain't manifesting it. I'm doing that. But I also know this for me. So nigga, I gotta get up and go get it. Mm-hmm. I ain't finna wait on it. If that shit said I'm supposed to have it next year, then guess what? Everything I'm supposed to go through to get that next year, I'm finna do it. You feel me? Like, I know right now I'm supposed to be, uh, I'm supposed to be on tour. I'm supposed to be moving correctly. And I know that because um, right before tour, I went through so much betrayal. And it showed me, hey, when you're on this tour, you got to move a little better. Because you seeing how these people that you thought you loved you crossing the shit out of you. So when you outside... Keep your eyes on the prize. Get the bag. Get home. You know I'm rolling in that bag this whole tour. You One thing me? I always, I always, we always say about um, trials and tribulation. When the devil coming at you in so hard in so many different ways, something big, about something to happen. big is about to happen. Okay, Don't fall for through. that. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. Just wait, and it's gonna come. Yeah. So now I thank you for coming on the show, man. It's always a, a blessing, man. Uh, what do you expect? You know, for getting with Kevin Gates this time, you right, know, around doing this tour. You know, what do you what do you expect to get from this? Man, um, man, what's already on the other side? You feel me? I just gotta get through it and finish, which is um, more success. You feel me? More hits. You know, whether that's mine, whether that's with him, whether that's with anybody else. You yeah. feel me? Um. I've always knew shit. It ain't always got to be me, but I know Norman Noah gonna be successful because I'm walking in God's uh, path right there. And 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 me. and that's really that's you. That's that's where you want to be, right? Right. That's where I want to be. And yeah. I just got delivered. Yeah, yeah. I just got delivered from slanging dick. <laughs> Damn boy, man. <laughs> so the thick, the, the the DJ chose uh, thick mm-hmm. uh, versus Norman North. Uh, it's great. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, what's up with that? So people, you, you're on other, like, yeah. what's up with that? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I can't, I can't make this up. I always tell people like, um, if you, if you wake up in the morning, and you know you got some people who like iced coffee, hot coffee. Some some people like both. Well, DJ chose is hot coffee. Norman North is iced coffee. You feel me? I'm the same. Thing. It's just neither one of them ever got out of character. One of them just, if I tell you I'm in love chasing this woman, do you think I wasn't gonna eat a pussy and, f- and slap on the ass when I see it? Like the country boys is doing what I'm saying. They just not putting <laughs> their music. That's why I don't, t- I don't play like that over here. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? This this is for who is for. You feel me? I want the kids to be able to listen to this over here. But this right here is who I am. Um, unapologetically You yeah, feel me Both yeah. of them are unapologet- uh, Unapologetically yeah, yeah. And I ain't ashamed To neither one That's why Like black people been Seeing my shit All the people who Listen to my rap And they like You do country I'm standing on business Like hell yeah Straight up That's me But you know Country music say A whole bunch of stuff That when oh, you man. listen to it Let me tell you When I came here To the United States Before that I know we used to listen to country And mm-hmm. once I start Really listening to country I'm like Did they just say What I think they just said they they have a lot of stuff in there that I ain't never heard that country. <laughs> I have. personally, you have. Mm, yeah, I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of country that you know it's a lot of sorrow and pain and mm-hmm. yeah, you get drunk. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've I've heard that. I've heard that. Yeah, but see, like I, to to second what she's saying, like Sam Hunt body like a back road. It's a twerk song. You feel me? It's mm-hmm. just clever, and that's why I like country. It make me have to write on a different level, like the clever words. Over here, we say, throw that ass, bend over, whatever. Like, that's so direct. Over here, nobody over here could stand a chance with me. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. I get to use my pen over here. Anybody over here that think they living with me could never even walk over here. It's only a few people who do hip-hop who can even play over here. You feel me? That's why you got Nelly. 
You feel me? It's a, it's just, Drake could probably do a country record, but everybody on ain't on Drake level. You feel me? I feel like I'm one of them ones. Minor well, setback. I want to I want to ask about this minor setback. I, okay, Let's do it. I, I just want to know what that was all about. You know, just explain the breakdown to me. Um, it was the truth. It was, it was me thinking. I I was in this point where, I finally had enough money to uh do some different shit. I was I was just starting to have, and I don't know. I was just finally getting out of my body and ready to let the world know I, I ain't broke. So <laughs> I started doing flashbacks and. Everybody say they started from the bottom. Show me the bottom then. That's a real <laughs> statement. I wanted everybody to show me where y'all came from because I'm not just saying I'm from the bottom. I really came from the bottom. You feel me? And yeah. I'm really up top. I'm not just saying I'm up top. I can show y'all. Like, it's some shit. It's some rappers that be comparing. Man, them niggas don't want to see my house. I ain't showed it. I can't show it. If I show it, it's going to be niggas that's like, damn. They gonna be hurt. You feel me? My mm. shit ain't. This bitch twenty twenty two. You know that bitch just got built. This bitch ain't no motherfucking. This bitch five thousand square foot. You feel me? Wood float. My nigga walked in my house early and said, "Man, this a mansion." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. and he he be in big houses. You feel yeah, me? So yeah, yeah. When a nigga that I fuck with tell me that, it make me be like, "Damn, I know this nigga was just in Miami. This nigga been Cali house. All kind of weird shit." That nigga fuck with my shit. All right, I'm doing something. You but feel it's me? crazy because you you basically little old just in little old you just in that big old house, man. Shit, you think it's little old you me. you be, you be uh, uh, is it a lot of people. You got servants. You like uh, King Joffa, Joe Joffa around this. Maybe he moved in everybody. All his family and relatives and everybody living. Who the hell all over there? A big fine woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and the big fine woman. Some big fine woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what 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 do you think about like like H Town, the music, where it's at right now, uh, compared to where it was, you know, it's a new day. Right. What do you? Th how do you feel about where it's at right now? Because I ask people that about Dallas all the time. Then I'm asking you, what's the? Well, I gotta ask you this too. I gotta put you a, right before you get off here. I gotta put a versus up against who you and somebody else in Houston. I gotta do that. Right. Does it have to be in Houston? Could it be a? No, nah, it's a Houston thing for gotcha. me. Unfortunately, um, uh, I don't Houston. think Houston music. I ain't gonna, you know, when niggas be trying to, oh, how much, how has it changed? Only thing that did change is the way people consume it. If people were still consuming the sound, us niggas would be running that bitch in the ground. You feel me? I would love to make that kind of music. That shit's so easy. You feel me? All I gotta do is slow something down, put a good hook on it. That shit was easy. But by the time I wanted to get in the game, it'll start going away, you know? Kirk O'Bang was like really the last one to slip one of them H Town songs in. Yeah. You know, niggas been doing it, but. I kind of feel like when the, when the most popular nigga in the world touch your shit and then leave it, it's pretty much done. Like when you think about uh, Drake, Drake damn near got off on Houston. Drake from Houston now. Like if, if you ask me, a nigga be like, what Drake from? Houston and Toronto, nigga. Mm -hmm. He from here. Mm -hmm. What, third, fourth ward, fifth ward, all you nigga. You put him where you want to put him, nigga. South Park, nigga. Drake from Houston, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And... That's just because of the music, you know, the influence. I think now Houston realizing, like, yo, we got to keep advancing. You feel me? Like, what you want us to do, man? Um, The world, you know, motherfuckers ain't still making funk. Mm. You feel me? Who wins in a versus between you and... I know you about to say it. Just South Walk. Sauce walk. Who you thought songs. he was gonna say? Twenty songs. I know he wasn't sauce walk. No, why walk, walk, man? Why no. walk? I don't like twenty that. songs. <laughs> twenty songs. Y'all or, or ten, whatever. However, y'all do it. Who win in in in, in, in the verses? Because you got all the bells and whistles. You already said a while ago yeah. you would want to make his this way or that way because you got that Diddy thing going. He wants to be his own artistic way. You tell me who would I'm win. Always. 20 songs. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the crowd, how you going to do it? Because you're going to have to tell hey, me that. How you say DJ chose in Spanish? <laughs> 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 but but that's neither So you know say that. SDA, you that's think how, you can take him out? I'm always he right. Okay, but how, would you, how would you do it? You know, this how. Do it. I asked Lil Kiki about him and uh, Slim Thug. I asked who else did I ask? I got uh, mm -hmm. ESG with him and uh, uh, somebody else. But you and you and Sauce Walk. You gotta you gotta ask me how would he beat me? 
And ain't that ain't an arrogant way. I want to just know if you can give me three songs that you compare me to, then I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna tell you how. But the only way I can really truly be the Sauce Walker because he got a lot of catalog is I gotta use this my gotta production. Be, it's, yeah, it's gonna be on. Oh, oh, yeah, you gonna dish yours, oh. your body at work against his body. But that's work. why it ain't. I'm, let me. That's just, the way let me, give, go. let me get a disclaimer. Go ahead. I don't think if you matching me up with my production, Sauce Walker. It ain't gonna be fair, and I don't mean that in a cocky way. It's just I got songs that's 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 you you damn near like I got songs that's big. I got songs that's bigger than America. You know what I'm saying? When you can look at that shit that's seven times platinum, that's bigger than America. I got Fast and Furious records. Like damn it, boy. So, but that ain't that ain't no arrogance. I'm just saying, match me with somebody who do what I do, not like a straight up rapper. Because walk rap and he do street rap, so. If you want to match me with somebody, match me with Khaled. You feel me? Like, damn, that that's how I'm in Houston with this. I'm not. Doing I know. There's nobody in Houston that can match up to you. Damn, she took it there. I Ain't mean, nobody in Houston. That's what I'm asking. Boy, that's a hell of a. Boy. I'm gonna tell I thought you, I'll be jabbing. Facebook be demanding me and be king. That's and, another one, but I, he, I, but. <laughs> But you his don't think song, he can cut. His, you got too much. You 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 do too much. Man. If we talking you production, you do too much. Yeah, yeah. we talking production. Production is one thing, if, but you do a lot. That's why I say it's soft walk. If we doing straight music, you see what I'm saying? That's that's the whole reason why I say it's soft walk. I mean, I think if you match B King and Sauce Walker, that's a match. You feel me? Like that, and that I only can say that because they both do the same thing. At the you know they both make they both real like they rap. Like to me, I don't pride off being a rap. But you do it. You can rap. You you do it all. I do, man. but if you put me in the verses and take away the real accolades I got, I'm, it's like a handicap. It's like making a nigga fight like this. You, feel <laughs> me? you can't you can't take my platinum songs away from me. I, I just, don't want to do the verses. I feel you, but I'm just talking about your songs against their songs. Okay, I don't well, care. That ain't that. I don't. You produced it. You whatever. Well, then nobody can beat me. <laughs> I love that it. Ain't, but that ain't, that ain't, I don't want to disrespect nobody, but that's what I'm saying. Like, cause I, I really fuck with Walk. I fuck with B King. I fuck I with everybody. But if you talking about, like, I just don't know who could even try to take that hard earned shit away from me and say, oh, nigga, I'll kill you with all that. Cause it's like, no, like, it depends. Like, if we, yeah, if we did it at the Galleria in Houston, but if we took that same verses to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? And I get to use them songs I produce. They're gonna be like, "Hey, them them two songs y'all did was cute, but we know all of this shit that this nigga doing for the first ten records. You know, when I get to pulling out these gates, you know, like I'm, I'm down. I got ten, I got five gold gates records, I got two gold NBA young boy records. Me and Fredo damn enough finna go twice gold and platinum like records with Dirk, records with Megan. Like it's just not." Nah, I, I, and that ain't no arrogance. It's just saying it ain't a competition. It ain't even supposed to be on the same grade. And that's not, if it was straight rap, Walk would beat me. I would say probably. I mean, depending on if you like hood music or clubs. You're taking 20 songs. And to, to 20, 20 songs. 20 even as a 20. rapper, I don't feel right. like. You see what I'm saying? Not, 10 I'm not in 10. fear of neither one of them as a rapper. You feel me? Of nobody as a rapper. I stand on my catalog. My catalog is good. I guess it just depends on. Whose fans are there So when you get to Talking that Houston shit The separation of this is A pure comparison Of 20 songs Without my production Would be me and B-King Cause we both got The club records But me and Walt It just depends on How many bitches in the crowd If that bitch full of bitches I won You feel me That's just what it is That bitch full of Now if it's full of bitches Who get pimped on And some street niggas Walt gonna beat me every day. You feel me? I gotta ask you something else. Uh, have you did Bun B bring any trill burgers to Houston at all? I seen him in New York eating burgers with Jada Kiss or somebody. Yeah. Like, where these damn burgers at? Hey, where man, the damn burgers? I ain't got no burger yet, and I don't. No, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bun be bringing niggas some burgers down. My here. nigga Bun don't follow me on Instagram no more. He don't so follow I, you. I feel away. Yeah. Wow. I seen that the other day. I was damn. Like, and Bun, Bun, my nigga, you feel me? But he followed Jada Kiss. Hey Bun. Yeah, I put it out there. Wait, who he following? Who he following? Hey Bun. We gonna find out who he following. Bun, I love you. Come but, on, my nigga. But damn, Bun, hey Bun. Bun, they ain't getting shaky over here. You know a nigga a Pimp C fan to heart, nigga. 
Thing getting shaky over here. You need to come see me. But like I say, family always family. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to say is, what bro, happened? But we used to follow each other, nigga. I had to unfollow you because I realized you wouldn't follow exactly. me. Exactly. But, but. Now nah, come on back nigga home, ain't man. Nigga, that light in these streets, nigga. Come on now. I'm, I'm, shit, nigga. How many times platinum? Ten, nigga. Damn. Damn. We might need to get in the verses, nigga. Damn. Ooh. Shit, nigga. Hey, let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> the thing nigga, we go out and Fuck, nigga. We might need to do a verses now, nigga. So let me back, nigga. <laughs> How did you feel about the verses they did in Atlanta? Because you mentioned doing one in Atlanta versus Houston. I, I felt so... Type a, a type of way. Did yeah, that versus? How 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 did you feel about it? Atlanta versus Houston. Um, no no no. No the versus with UGK, uh, UGK and, versus uh, uh, A Ball. A Ball. I know you probably didn't watch it. Did you? Oh uh, damn! Oh, I didn't watch Look it. Look, he performed. That was my highlight. I moment. didn't watch it, but I think I seen some highlights. Uh, what I will say is, no, I didn't watch it. How did, what, what was the problem with? Damn, it, it wasn't in Houston. It oh, wasn't okay. in Texas. That bothered me too. <laughs> like, that it messed been... with me, bad, yeah. man. I, and, and then Bobo come back and told me, "Oh man, uh, I, I know you wanted to be in Texas." They, yeah, damn right, I did, yeah, nigga. Yeah. We we love down there hard, so I it didn't like thick. it. They could have that bitch at uh, anywhere in the world. Doing, yeah. Everybody in the crowd was like this. He told me they had their phones. Nigga, they had their phones all the time. Nigga, they that thing should be turned centers. up, nigga. That shit should have been in Houston at the Rocket Stadium, mm -hmm. nigga. For real. Let me get this out for this thing. So this who storm else? Who else would you like to work with? Cause you doing you do, yeah you doing you doing Kevin Gates right now. Yeah. Who else would you like to? I'm like all the rest of them niggas. I want to work. Everybody. I want to work with Drake and Beyonce too. Shit, mm, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's gonna with, happen. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna. Happen. I really feel like Beyonce bit me on thick, but that's neither here nor there. What? Uh, Beyonce what? got a song called Thick, and I'm not gonna lie to you. It, what? I've never heard Beyonce use a beat with 808s that sound like mine. So um, whoever, damn, whoever whoever orchestrated that, I just gotta tell y'all. That shit was real cute. It sound like <laughs> DJ chose. But I understand y'all be, hey, I'm that nigga y'all gotta box out. Box me <laughs> out, nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, anybody know about me, nigga, I'm still gonna come get a layup, nigga. I'm sneaking one of them bitches in, I'm real nah, sneaky. Man. But Beyonce, hey man, next time you want the real thing, fuck with me. You, you talk about Beyonce, I heard, I heard, on, I mean, I, I heard New Edition say the same thing when she used the uh, love on top. They like, they should, she should've came yeah, out of us. Yeah, I remember that. So people I'll, say the same shit. <laughs> man, when you hit that beat, everybody keep, I remember when Thick came out, everybody was like, damn, that shit just sound like, nigga, did you, did you A&R? I'm like, nah, I ain't do nothing. You know, but I'm like, shit, I did A&R. Somebody heard my shit and just made another version. Right. You feel me? But I know how when you deal with um, a lot of female artists compared to men artists, when you produce for them, your beats and stuff be different for each. Right. Why? Um, Man, I be just trying to, I can channel an artist. I'm not like one of them niggas who only can do what I do. Like I can do what I can still like make me while making what you fuck with. You feel me? So I ain't one of them niggas one size fit all. Now if I'm gonna go fuck with Lizzo, that bitch gonna sound the the music gonna sound real sassy, but it's still gonna sound like DJ chose. Cause you have some of these females that rap hard like a dude. Yeah. So that's the reason why I was asking. Like, well, I don't want to hear no woman. Do like that kind of music Cause it's like I don't you, you know You gotta It's still like growth There for women You feel me Just like women Don't wanna hear niggas Do too much of what they do You mm -hmm. feel me If a nigga was talking about I make her pay all of my bills I make her do Like Y'all gonna be like We don't like this nigga <laughs> <laughs> You feel me So Women got their world But when it come to really Standing over a nigga And fighting a nigga And beating a nigga up It's like Man, that can only come from a nigga who really did it. I don't want to hear a girl say that because it's like, you just rapping now. And to me, right. that's just real cute, but it's going to be a little girl that believe you and y'all going to turn all little girls into niggas. Mm -hmm. I always, I ask this question. I'm going to let you get out of here. Um, you, um, <coughs> Houston, uh, native. Uh, right. We got Dallas. I asked all the pe I asked Dallas people and I asked Houston people. It seemed like a two separate worlds. It is. You see what I'm saying? Why do you think that is? And... Um, how do you feel about Dallas music? I feel like, and this is so fun to say, I feel like most niggas when they, from Dallas, when they get on, you could have knew them niggas, but them niggas do not fuck with you when they get up. Like, and that ain't like no shade. And they might feel the same way about Houston niggas, but I can honestly say, when most niggas from Dallas up, 
if we was fraternizing and I hit them during they prime, I'd be like, I don't need a verse. Niggas is always hit me back. 15, 15K, this is where you'll send the money. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> when you needed a beat last week, nigga, I sent that bitch to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you get around a nigga like, I get around niggas that, that's way bigger than them that generally fuck with me and they give me a verse for them. Hey, here you go, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it just be crazy how the game work. You feel me? But Houston could probably be like that, but I can honestly say anybody that I really had a true relationship, hence somebody like Megan, she was all the way up. I I tried to give her 100K for that verse. Mm. And she agreed to 100K, or she didn't. The middleman that was middleman to me was like 100. And then I guess when he tried to bring her the 100, she said, man, if you don't take that shit back to Joe's. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Wow. Cause she Because she That's tough dope. for you. She fuck with that. Why I can never like I, I can never play with Megan. Like I love Megan with all my heart. Wow, she, she loved me too, man. Well, you just made we me in feel love. Like, really, we in love, man. You tell yeah, her, they tell from her, far. yeah, cause they gonna yeah, yeah. Boss Talk One Hundred and One sends her much love. We know she was the first female rapper out of Texas to go. Yeah, yeah, she that one. She that one. So uh, and she dope and it's hard to get around her. Um, she got star power, man. She got it. She gonna be all right. Yeah, she gonna be all right. Hell, I wish I was in her position. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Top three producers of all time. Oh, top three. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Whoever yeah. was producing every Ja Rule record. Because Ja Rule my favorite Why? record. Man, you said that last time. Yeah. Yeah. Top number one. You Why is he here? Because that nigga went hard, man. Right Come on. Man. Man. You know, he Come on, handled them, them. That his era. Come on, man. You can't get around Ja Rule, man. Ja Rule was Drake. But mm. that's neither here nor there. Secondly, uh, I'm going to say 40. Because 40 make all the Drake shit that I love. But damn, that's good. And there's a lot of niggas that's going to be mad because I love all y'all niggas. But at the end Number of the day, three. man, uh, I'm going to say it's this nigga named Uncle Jaime from Houston. Okay. Uncle Jaime well, used to make produced? all of them. Uh, he used to make all of them H Town records, and Uncle Jaime crazy. But I, I only reason I'm gonna say he top three, and he number three for me is because when you walk in the club in Houston, Uncle Jaime ain't got on no shirt. You feel me? He got like this weird ass young nigga. How could he? He be in the club like in. this. If going his, in. If his beat play, he, he getting it. He loving it. And he, you know what I'm saying? He a little, he a little older, but Uncle Jaime being that bitch moving. I hope he see this because he don't never get his. No credit, but Man. Uncle Jaime crazy than a motherfucker. Wow. He taught me how to work a Triton when I was like 14. That's shout dope. out to Uncle Jaime, man. That's yeah. dope. That was a dope shout out. Uh, I know that boy watching Boss Talk 101 where the bosses <laughs> talk, man. Sure. Everybody watching Boss Talk now, man. But man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. man thank we you love you, me. bro. Oh. I promise you, and you promise me when you get ready to do another run, whenever three months from now, yeah. two months from now, next week, nigga, yeah. you calling me and say, E, I'm better come back through Dallas. I'm come back and tell you. Because I want you to always know that you home here, nigga. We love you, bro. So I'm going to tell you talk. how my, my deliverance is going. I told you I ain't slanging no more dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.